that goes beyond mere quality, a huge thing, famous for its excess, full of melodrama, action, sentiment, history painted in glorious technicolor, but real history is often accidental and muddled. The truth is that Gone with the Wind came out of chaos and confusion, blind faith and great good luck. Turner Entertainment in association with Selznick Properties Limited, presents The Making of a Legend, Gone with the Wind. This extraordinary documentary is an absolute must for anyone who loves movies or who has ever seen Gone with the Wind. A film fan's dream come true. A totally authentic look at the incredible story of how the absolute all-time favorite Hollywood production was made. Narrated by the celebrated actor Christopher Plummer, The Making of a Legend was produced by the sons of Gone with the Wind's famed maker, producer David O. Selznick. You will share his doubts and dilemmas through the revelations of his personal files. Wonder at the audacity of attempting so ambitious a production outside the studio system of the time. I went ahead and made Gone with the Wind according to my own lights. I was told by the most important people in the business that no independent company could hope to achieve the result that I was after. And I replied, only an independent company could hope to achieve such a result that it was impossible in a factory. I can't recall anything in my lifetime that swept throughout America yes. and the world as, as this book did. See the cast and, and crew talk like about events 50 years ago as vividly as though they occurred I yesterday. I think Prissy was horrid. <laughs> the reason I didn't want to go over the wind, here is a novel that is the top seller of all time. I love you. I'm in love with you, Ashley. Follow the fabled story you. of the search for Scarlet from the inside through Selznick's eyes by you. seeing the actual screen tests of the many hopefuls you. and learn the truth behind the discovery of Vivian Lee. See the private family films of Vivian Lee, Clark Gable, Victor Fleming, David Selznick. There are no holds barred. The veil is removed from Selznick's obsessiveness, which drove the huge production. He was such a perfectionist. Mr. Selznick wasn't always the most patient man that one ever worked for. Mr. Kuka wanted it all agitated. Ma says if you put a knife under the bed, it cuts the pain in two. But Mr. Selznick, who was on the set that day, wanted it red. Ma says if To get his way, Selznick wasn't afraid to change directors. They had two different versions. I was removed from the picture. Selznick replaced Cukor with Victor Fleming, MGM's top director, who didn't like anyone but Clark Gable and himself. He was disturbed by the fact that Selznick would take over filming. Fleming walked off the picture. Gone with the Wind had lost another director, but by now the film had momentum. Selznick's desperation was the true directing force. And MGM supplied another replacement, Sam Wood, but two weeks later, Fleming returned to the fray. The Selznick Studios were in a state of chaos. By now, there were six units working on the film. One day, Fleming was shooting the cotton field scene, Wood was filming the lumber mill office with Vivian Lee, Bill Menzies was doing the battlefield location, and second unit director Breezy Eason was shooting the shantytown sequence with a stunt double for Scarlett. And not everything that was filmed was accepted by Selznick. For example, this outtake which never made the film. The sheer size and spectacle were unprecedented. But even when principal photography finally drew to a close, Selznick's special effects people were still doing tricks, revealed here for the first time. The exterior of the Atlanta mansion was actually a painting. When it is removed, you can see it was really shot in front of the studio. In December 1939, the whole country awaited the results of the premiere in Atlanta. As I started down here this evening, your mayor told me the population of Atlanta was 300,000. I have seen myself tonight coming from the airport, three million people. Atlanta went wild. 
the film was a triumph beyond even the exalted expectations of the public. Christmas 1939 was a blur. Premieres in New York and Hollywood, one party after another. Finally, Oscar night at the Coconut Grove in the Ambassador Hotel. Awards went to William Cameron Menzies for his outstanding use of color, Gone with the Wind. To Hal Kern and James Newcomb, film editor, Gone with the Wind. Color cinematography to Ernest Haller, Ray Renahan, Gone with the Wind. To Lyle Wheeler for art direction, Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind, the screenplay by Sidney Howard. The Best Direction of 1939 to Victor Fleming. Hattie McDaniels wins the award for Best Supporting Actress. And Vivian Lee for Best Actress. Ladies and gentlemen, I should like to devote my thanks on this occasion to that composite figure of energy, courage, and very great kindness in whom all points have gone with the wind meet, Mr. David Selznick. And David Selznick received two Oscars that night, the Irving Thalberg Award for Consistent Achievement and another for Best Picture. No picture has ever done as well at the box office. All over the world, including its major re-releases, Selznick's Folly has earned in today's dollars about 840 million. That means it has taken in over two billion dollars in ticket sales and has had by far the largest audience of any film ever made. There has never been such glory in Hollywood, and there may never be another success like it. Gone with the Wind is the pinnacle in that great passion, frenzy, art, and business we call the movies. The New York Times said, the making of a legend is full of major stars, giant personalities, terrifying egos. They're all here exposing themselves with charming abandon. Critic Tom Shales of the Washington Post says, entirely worthy of one's time. It's a classic about a classic, an epic about an epic, a very good film about a very great one. Already a major prize winner, The Making of a Legend may become a legend in its own right. Fascinating for every generation. It's a show you will want to see more than once. A true collector's item for all time. Available now at your video store from MGM UA Home Video.